Greetings from your friends at Dearborn Heights City Libraries. Did you know that you can use our catalog to search for books, movies, music, and even video games, all from the comfort of your home? This short video will show you how to do a catalog search by topic and then filter the results to show only items in our youth collection. Here's the scenario. Your child's teacher assigned a project on a specific topic. You need to help your child find materials on that topic today. The truth. This is actually a pretty common request, and in most cases, we can help get you sorted with materials. However, there will be occasions in which your child may choose a subject that we just don't have any books on, or we do, but they're all checked out because other kids had the same great idea. Let's get started. The first step is getting to the catalog. You do that by visiting our website at dhcl mishlibrary.org. From there, click on the catalog search button, which I highlighted on the screen. Now that the catalog is loaded, we can start our search. A pretty popular request we get is folks looking for materials on African American or Black history for class projects. The search term African American history brought us 5,092 results at 57 libraries. If we change our search term to Black History, we get 4,743 results. This is too much content, and most of it isn't even written for kids. And, most importantly, we're looking for materials that are available today at this library. We need to filter our results by location. Let me show you how. On the left side of the screen, you'll see a green box around the text searching 57 locations. Click the word Change, and a menu will pop up giving you a list of libraries to search. The menu looks like this, an alphabetical list of libraries. For simplicity, I'll select Dearborn Heights North, Caroline Kennedy Library. Clicking the Save button will filter our results so just items at Caroline Kennedy will show up. We went from 5,092 items across 57 libraries down to 465 items under one roof, Caroline Kennedy Library. Bearing in mind our scenario, materials needed for a kid's school project, we should probably narrow our search to materials in the youth or juvenile collection. We do this by exploring the menu on the left side of the screen. Click on Collection and you'll see a drop-down list which breaks down which collections have materials on African American history. We already know that we're wanting something for a kid, but are we looking for a fictional story which is steeped in African American history for a language arts reading assignment? You'll want the juvenile fiction collection for that, or a book or a movie about an event that happened in history for a reporter presentation. If that's the case, try the juvenile nonfiction collection. For this demo, we'll go with nonfiction. We went from 465 results down to 146 just by choosing the appropriate collection. The next question is, are we looking for just books or will a movie work? For this demo, we'll look for books only. We do this by exploring the menu on the left side of the catalog and clicking Format, which shows a list of media types. For this demo, click on Book. Our results dropped by two items. We're now at 144 books on African American history. Glancing at the results here, the first two items are quite dated with publication dates of 2009 and 1994. These aren't bad books and will certainly work for a project, but if you're looking for newly written materials, we can sort our results by publication date. The catalog gives us six unique ways to sort search results. The default is set to relevance, but you can click on the drop down menu and see the rest of the list. Select publication date. Now that we've filtered or sorted our 144 or 12 pages of results, it's time to pick out items. In the scenario I chatted about earlier, we are looking for items that are available for checkout today. The first two items on the list of 144 have a status as available. I know this because the green lettering below the author name and series reads, One Available, which means one available copy. Let's take a closer look at the first item on the list. Drawing the Vote, the Illustrated Guide to the Importance of Voting in America. Click on the title or the book cover. We can now see a summary of what this book is about. The history of voting rights here in the United States and how it has affected the way we vote today. We'll pretend that this book doesn't grab your child. Let's head back to our other results by clicking Back to Results in the upper left part of the catalog page. For brevity, I'll tell you about the second item in the list, The Great Migration. 
The summary says, between 1916 and 1970, more than 6 million African Americans migrated from the South to the North to escape racial violence. There's also mention that aligns with Common Core standards. We'll pretend this book is something that will work for your child's project. Now, to get your hands on it. Bear in mind that due to the COVID-19 pandemic, you may not be able to show up at the library and physically pull the book off the shelf yourself, as many libraries are open only for curbside pickup right now. Because you need the item today, I'd recommend that you skip placing the hold in the catalog yourself and either call the library directly or email the reference desk. You made your request. Now what? Your time is important to us. Before heading to the library, wait for confirmation that your items are ready for pickup. This may be a phone call, text message, or email depending on your account preferences. If in doubt, call us and we'll gladly give you an update. For more information about the pickup process during the pandemic, please check out our video on curbside pickup. Now you know how to do a catalog search by topic and sift through the results to find something immediately available for checkout. Stay tuned for other videos that can help enrich your library experience.